Inspired by the television series Squid Game, in the reality competition Squid Game The Challenge, 456 contestants compete in a series of high-stakes children's games in hopes of winning a life-changing $4.56 million cash prize. There's been a lot of buzz about this. Mm -hmm. News News, Christina Lobo spoke with player 432 about his strategies during the competition. It didn't feel like you were on a TV show. A reality competition show putting player skills to the ultimate test. In the original series Squid Game, the stakes are deadly, but in Squid Game the Challenge, competitors are simply eliminated and sent home. They did a phenomenal job with the set, with everything. It was, overall, it was a great experience. Brighton Constantine, also known as Player 432, went to Clemson. His big personality put him on people's radar as a potential threat before being eliminated in the game. Very blunt black and white, I'm to the point. One of the hardest challenges he said he had to face was the game Red Light, Green Light. My ADHD is kicking in, like my mind is racing. I was like, what if I just turn my head real quick? Then I would be eliminated. You couldn't do, you couldn't move. So it was, um, it was hard being somebody who can't sit still and then having to stand still. For viewers, the game appears to be over in a matter of minutes. Whenever you have to stand still, you have to stand still for like 15 minutes. And that's why so many people got eliminated is because you don't just get to stand there for like 10 seconds and oh, don't move. Like no, you have to stand there for a very uncomfortable amount of time. Constantine was ultimately eliminated in episode three after his ship sank in the warships competition, which was the show's version of the game Battleship. There's skill involved. Uh, there's strategy involved, but overall, it's just straight up luck. If you're interested, casting for season two Squid Game The Challenge is now open. And if you think you have what it takes to win, we have a link where you can apply on our website, countonto.com. In Mount Pleasant, Christina Lobo, Count On Two.